first, teach this dog that she can't lay underneath the van. We just bought a van. We're gonna, you know, build it up, make it look good. Till next time. So in this video, we're gonna go over our solar panel and our fan installation. In this case, we went with the Red Energy solar panels and the charge controller because they are recommended to us by family. Uh, the specific set that we bought is gonna be linked below along with everything else that we talk about in this video. Um, this set came with all the cables you'll need and you'll see it has all the slots you need to connect the solar panels to the charge controller. We obviously looked at the dimensions before buying these, but we threw the empty box on the roof before the panels just to make sure uh, everything looked good and try and figure out the orientation. Ultimately, we went with the vertical orientation, I guess. So it's two in the back, vertical with the van, and then two following that. Uh, I'm the one that got to stand on the roof and do all of this because it does dent easily. <laughs> So just an FYI for anybody wanting to hop on their roof of their van. So now that we have the panels lined up, we attach some 3M tape and lap sealant around the brackets rather than screwing them in. Uh, we read online that this is a great way just to not have to screw into your van or make holes in your van and it's worked for us really well. We did have to make a hole, however, in order to run the solar panels cables solar panel cables through the van down to the charge controller which sits inside the van in the back left side. So this is the very first hole we had to make in the van. You did it. I don't think I got it on video. In this hole we also added a rubber grommet as well as spray painting that exposed metal just to prevent any sort of rusting and the grommet is to prevent any uh, sort of rubbing of the cables against the hole. <laughs> And lastly, we added this white gland to keep the cables in place, but mostly to prevent any water from coming in through the hole in the roof. So for the fan, we went with the standard Max Air fan that has a cover for rain. Uh, I think there's two versions. We went with the one that does not have a remote. We'll link it below again like we did with the solar panels. Because we need to cut into the actual metal of the van, we don't want any of those metal pieces to fly everywhere because then we have to deal with making sure everything's removed so that it doesn't rust so we threw up this sheet of plastic and taped it to the fit to the roof so it would catch all of the shavings so we drilled pilot holes in each of the four corners and then we cut along the lines here that we drew uh, as our measurement A second you're gonna see this starts to wobble Evan had told me that I needed to tape it down but I understood it completely differently I thought he was telling me to make sure that the plastic underneath was taped not the actual piece of it oh my god that looked hilarious from underneath <laughs> that's why I need this thing taped <laughs> what thing the, that thing to tape Oh, you need me to tape it from the other side? From the bottom, yes. We started prepping the hole for the fan with some tape that I don't remember the name of right now. And uh, this is mainly to hold the mounting bracket for the fan in place, but it also acts as a, an additional weather stripping sealant of sorts um, for that mount. But as you can see, we also screwed it in on all sides and started with a screw on each side. Just make sure everything was proportional. The clamps here are just holding everything in place for me. After I screwed everything in and made sure that the fan fit on the bracket correctly, uh, and we, we screwed that into the bracket, we then applied an additional 
layer of lap sealant around the entire edge of the fan where you see the tape sticking out a little bit and over each of the screw holes just to ensure that we were 100% waterproof and there was going to be no water coming in through the fan. Bonus clip. This is what the dog does in preparation for van life. So there's a few more holes that need to go in uh, on the sides of the fan here to hold it in place. But overall, the process is relatively easy. Just measure twice, cut once, as they say. So this piece here is actually installed after your ceiling, your final finished ceiling is installed. And it just helps give, the, give it that clean line um, of the fan and serves no purpose besides the clean